Welcome to this tutorial! An oscilloscope is an apparatus that allows us to measure the voltage changing over time, so it's very useful for measuring AC signal. In this video, we use the function generator as our voltage supply to show how to make quantitative measurements using an oscilloscope. We are using the Taktronic TAS465 analog oscilloscope. All oscilloscopes are fairly similar, so the basic function we are talking about work in the same way. We first set up the oscilloscope by connecting the channel to where we measure the voltage. We are using a function generator to generate our AC signal. We connect the output of the function generator to the input of the oscilloscope directly with a BNC to BNC cable, but BNC cables have a variety of different ends. So you might have a different connection to your oscilloscope when you're using this kind of function generator and oscilloscope. Use the output on the function generator labeled 50 ohms. Do not use the output TLL CMOS. So that's a different type of output. Turn the AMPL knob all the way to minimize when you first connect your function generator just to make sure that it minimizes the voltage that's going to your oscilloscope. The other thing you also want to make sure to do is that your frequency knob is all the way pushed in by just pushing down on it and making sure that you feel that it's pushed down. Then all you need to do is to power on your function generator and the oscilloscope. If your oscilloscope looks like this, then you need to adjust the waveform by selecting the sinusoidal button on the function generator, which is here. Now your waveform on the oscilloscope should look like a sinusoidal wave that you see. Once your waveform appears, the best way to make sure it's stable, especially if you're at the beginning of setting up your waveform, is just to hit the auto set button. What this does is just automatically set your waveform on your screen. Then you can make fine tuning adjustments, especially if you think it's kind of uh, fuzzy or just kind of flickery. So what you can do is uh, adjust the triggering level. This is where your waveform starts, and this is especially important when your waveform looks like this. It just means that you're starting at the wrong point. If you really want to understand the illustration of this, go to your horizontal position and you can adjust it and you can see that as I move my trigger level, it moves where the waveform starts. So you can see as the, the end point is moving up and down as I adjust the trigger level. Then, of course, the other way to move your, um, your waveform other than back and forth is up and down, which you can do using the vertical knob, which just, again, moves your waveform up and down. So how do we make measurements with an oscilloscope? As we can see, there is grid over the screen, and these numbers show the scale of the grid. We can adjust the scale of grid using the knob on the vertical or horizontal set to make the waveform fit better to the screen. So here, channel 1, 2 volt, means for the waveform of channel 1, one vertical square equals 2 volt. In this 200 millisecond means one horizontal square equals 200 milliseconds. This waveform has an amplitude of roughly 4 volts as we can read through the grid. If the scale is hard to read or you want to make accurate measurement, here comes the cursor. The cursor are two horizontal lines. If you can't see two horizontal lines, try clicking the cursor button and set them on. So now we have the cursor and we can by clicking toggle, we can switch to another cursor and move it to the right position to make measurement. As we can see, the difference between two cursors reads out 7.75 volt. Also, we can read the time coordinate of the waveform 